A regrettable, ugly scene has marred an otherwise great night of college basketball. We want to bring in our Hall of Famer Dick Vitale calling tonight's Duke game in Cameron Indoor. Duke, uh, Dick, what's your reaction to what you saw in Lawrence, Kansas tonight? Well, just absolutely sickening, unbelievable. In 40 years on my TV, I haven't seen anything like that unless you go to the NBA and you look at the Pistons brawl that took place at the Palace. I think there's no doubt in my mind that the Sosa never, ever should put a uniform on again in college basketball. None. As Seth said, and I couldn't agree more, he's holding a chair. I mean, that's criminal. He's going to hurt somebody. I mean, I don't want to hear the excuse that they stole the ball with time running out, should have never done such. Give me a break. That was ugly. Where were the cars? Coaches, the assistants, keeping their team on the bench. That's the first rule. One assistant should take charge and make sure that no one gets there. It is sickening. There's no place in the game. That was almost criminal what the Sosa was done. I'll be shocked if he ever wears a uniform again in a Kansas uniform. Coach Greenberg, LaFonzo Ellis, what do you make of everything that happened now that you've had an opportunity to watch it and just let it digest a little bit? I mean, the words that come to mind are egregious, reprehensible. I mean, when you think about it, and there's a lot of people that are culpable. I mean, but first of all, James Love of Kansas State, who comes off the bench, not even in uniform, culpable. The Sosa, don't, no doubt about it, culpable. And then as it escalates, there's no place in our game for this type of behavior. And I don't want to even hear about what Bruce was talking about, about his player trying to steal the basketball. That's one thing, right? It's wrong. Sure, it's wrong. But the behavior that followed it, and how it escalated to the point of that picture right there. Thank God for Coach Howard, because oh, who yeah. knows what could have happened. This, there's no place for this in our game. A lot of people are responsible. The players right here, whether it's Sousa or whether it's David McCormick, yeah. will face severe consequences. This is not a Bill Self decision in the end. This is going to be a Big 12 decision, and this is going to be a Kansas Athletic Department decision. But it needs to be swift, and it needs to be severe. Bunt? Yeah, De Dewan Gordon, uh, th Dicker Phelps used to always talk about playing with class, right? And there have been plenty of times we were up 20, up 30, sometimes even down. And I thought he should have never stolen that basketball to begin with. Otherwise, our night would be over. We'd be talking about how awesome Duke was tonight. But he did, and DeSosa made a great play to block the shot. And then he stood over him. And there's a few things that you just never do as an athlete. You never stand over another athlete. It's an honor thing. You never do it. And that's really what precipitated and got everything rolling in the wrong, in, in the wrong direction. And Seth, with those two players that we've talked about tonight, we talked about DeSosa. Even McCormick was stomping, stomping the that's kid while he was down on the ground. Those guys should be suspended for the rest of the entire year. The punishment should be swift and severe. Let's talk about how specifically that might end up being the case. By the way, Digger Phelps was Fonz's college coach. So for those of you wondering there, Kansas is next game Saturday on ESPN, 4 p.m. Eastern time, SEC Big 12 Challenge in Lawrence against the Vols, and the college game day guys are going to be there. So Reese and Jay will join you Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern from the fog. At that point, you said swift and harsh. Mm -hmm. What kind of penalties do you think could be employed by the Big 12 and Commissioner Bob Bowlesby between now and and Saturday when you guys are there. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the pictures, tell the story. I mean, it work. And, and when you see that, I mean, that that's a chair. You could hurt somebody severely uh, with that chair, and there was an intent there. And so when that happens, there's no place for that in our game. And as I said before, that should be a year suspension. And with what McCormick did, stumping the kid while he was down on the ground, that should also be a suspension for the rest of the year. Anything less than that is just unacceptable in my mind. Yeah, that could be, and thank goodness Coach Howard stepped in. Yeah. But imagine if he carried through with that chair oh. and actually hit someone. Then it becomes a criminal offense. Right. So, I mean, like, there's no place for this, and we've got to understand, we've got to draw a firm line right now and make a statement in college bad. We've got to make a statement that, you know what, forget about what happened to play before. Mm -hmm. This type of behavior cannot be condoned. More importantly, this type of behavior has got to be dealt with quickly and severely and to me, this is institutional, and this is the league. And these two young players, they're not going to obviously suit up for a very long time. Right. But the Kansas State players are also as culpable. No doubt. I'm mean, right. James Love, he is responsible. There's no doubt about it. Because, and he's got to be held accountable as well. And, you know, I hear Bruce and says, well, I hope there aren't any repercussions. No, there needs to be repercussions. There needs to be a message. 
Thank goodness that chair did not end up hitting someone. And the section they were in yeah. are, is the disabled section. So oh, really? thank goodness mm -hmm. no one got hurt right there. You see the woman right here. Mm -hmm. She's trying to mm -hmm. basically hold on and stop the Sosa from using that chair in some ma uh, fashion. So people, I, like, here's the, I don't want to hear about people saying, well, what do you think he's doing? Well, he's lifting a chair with his legs loaded up, as you told me, Fonz. There's a bad intent in that picture. There's no doubt about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.